Good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. And uh, yeah, it's a sad day. It's an end of an era. Before we get into it, if you're not yet subscribed and part of the family, click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. And if we look right here, yep, my car is all packed up. Got the last of my stuff. I gotta go back in and grab my vacuum from the apartment. Uh, since I am no longer gonna be living in Glassboro, there's no need for me to have an apartment here. So I'm basically surrendering the keys, surrendering the apartment. And uh, to your guys' surprise, I am not the only one moving out. And this place looks a lot different than you guys have seen it on the vlog before in the past. And uh, it's kind of bittersweet and sad at the same time. Apartment A231. We got some stuff right there. A dresser I personally couldn't move. But uh, this is the kitchen. This is uh, the one room. This is where my desk used to be. My bed was over there. And there's the roommate. I guess you could say former roommate, Alyssa. Ex-roommate. Ex-roommate, ex-friend, ex-everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta admit, this is like sad. I know. I've yet to actually see your room. Like, what's that look like now? It's completely empty. Is it really? Yeah. There is no way. Because guys, like she's a minimalist, but she had a lot of stuff. I did not have. Wow. A lot of shit. What? I did not have a lot of shit. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. I saw. I saw yesterday when I came in, all your stuff piled up in the living room, guys. Like this was, the bathroom took uh, many, you know, what's in that toilet. She had a smell of that night. <laughs> but uh, we come in here. Yeah, I broke that for Alyssa because she couldn't get in. Wow. Like, this whole entire place is empty. This was my closet over here. I had my giant dresser in here, which unfortunately I cannot move myself. So, uh, I have it just sitting in the kitchen. I'm gonna let the place deal with it. But, uh, real quick, Alyssa. I do want to say, come here. Well, actually, yeah, let's come right here where we have better lighting. You know, I may have been a pain in your butt. Yeah, you're also shorter than me. No, I'm, uh, don't tell the vlog. Yeah, so you don't don't tell them that. But I gotta say, it was nice being roommates, guys. Like we've known each other for eight, nine, ten years now. Yeah. Something crazy like that. And if you guys want to know how we met, YouTube. it was through YouTube. <laughs> and uh, how we're leaving as roommates. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Which one day, hopefully, she'll start her channel back up. Hopefully, she's yeah. she's got a lot of good things now going for her. Finally, um, she Fine. went through she went through a rough patch, but. This is only a new beginning of a chapter in both of our lives as we both have a lot of changes going on. And uh, come here. Come here. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, guys. This was like my secret roommate. I think you guys only saw him in like one vlog. And that happened to be, uh, I think, when we wrapped Alyssa's room in Christmas paper or wrapping paper, right, Sam? What's up? Remember when we uh, wrapped Alyssa's room? Yeah. So, you, you miss that video, don't you? No, you miss that fun time. <laughs> Guys, uh, yeah, so basically he's been like a secret roommate without really being a roommate. And uh, it's kind of sad to see him too go along with Alyssa and myself. So Sam, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. You, you get a hug goodbye too. <laughs> God, this guy's so tall. Sam, real quick, how tall are you again? I remember we talked about that last time, like tall 10 enough. foot. Something like that. I'm 5'9", 5'10". Numbers are relative. He's 6'7". Yeah, I was gonna say, this guy's like almost 7 foot. <laughs> but anyways guys, there's a lot going on. There's a lot that I personally want to talk with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna make a drive back to my parents' house. I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and we're gonna have a conversation. I figured, you know what, say goodbye to the roommates for at least one last time because this is the last time you guys are gonna see Alyssa in a vlog. For a while, at least. At the last? Like, For a while. <laughs> Bye, Alyssa. See ya. See ya on the other side. I uh, actually decided to pick the vlog back up to kind of document me locking the door one last time here at the apartment. It's uh, kind of bittersweet. I'm not going to lie. i got to find the correct key. And uh, here we go. And it is like that. Locked up. Now we're gonna go back to the new place where I'll be staying. 
which is my parents' house, and um, I want to talk, guys. What's up, guys? We're here at the desk cam now to have our little one-on-one -on -one conversation. I just want to let you guys know what is going on in my life with everything. So we're here at the desk, and real quick, I'm liking how my desk setup is coming out. I don't, you guys like you guys can't see it right now, obviously. But uh, for those that do want to see it, make sure you follow my Twitter and Instagram at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. So they're gonna actually see it first because it's gonna probably be a while before I show this whole entire uh, thing in a video. I guess you could say the room in general. But uh, yeah, make sure you follow my social medias over there on Twitter and Instagram at Jeff Saxon Vlogs and. Uh, I do want to say I don't know what the upload schedule is going to be like here on the channel, but I do know on Thursday I will have a video coming out that I made a couple days ago. So make sure you're subscribed again with notifications on to never miss out at all for any kind of video that does get posted here on the channel. By now I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen the sit down video with Jesse and I uh, letting you guys know that I am leaving the channel. No, this is not clickbait. That is true. And uh, real quick, I want to say right off the bat here that I am grateful and thankful for the opportunity that I was given. And uh, to be honest, guys, it was a wild 18 months. We did a lot of crazy things. We filmed my virtual escape. Went to <laughs> went to Hawaii, Ohio, Los Angeles, South Carolina, Arkansas, all these crazy and cool places. And, um, you know, in the past, like, few months, I realized I got to follow my passion with firefighting. Even though here and there I do like to make videos because it's always been kind of a stress release for me just talking to a camera in general. Um, I got to follow my main passion in life. And I want to thank all of you guys for the support that you all left. And um, it, it means the world to me, you know. Like, I was reading the Reddit last night. I was reading the YouTube comments over on the sit-down video. And I want to thank everybody for their support. And I, I want you guys to know in life, like, sometimes your heart is going to pull you in a different direction no matter what. So like, you know, 10 to like 20, I want to do one thing. Like actually, no, from when I was 17 to about 21, uh, my goal was to get in and work for the government. And then uh, I did that and that was cool. And then I had the opportunity to audition for the cameraman position and I did that and I was like, oh cool. I get to work for my favorite YouTuber now. And guys, like he will always still be my number one favorite YouTuber. Uh, just because of how I can relate to the guy and to be honest like he's done just a lot for me and I'm always thankful for that like I said in the sit down video but um yeah so sometimes your heart will pull you in a different direction and for me that's what has happened it, it pulled me back to the firefighting actually let me come right into one of these drawers just give me one second found it so this right here is a young Swift or Jeff Saxon um, when I graduated the fire academy as you guys see I had to keep like a very stern face I couldn't smile or anything but like deep down inside I was cheesing you know like it was probably one of those happiest days I've had in my life like there's a lot of happy days uh, for me definitely that uh, getting my uh, badge pinned on me that was really cool you know I'm a senior in high school and I am now a state certified firefighter in the state of New Jersey, which not many kids are at the age of 18 while still in high school, while playing hockey and working two jobs. So that was a crazy time of my life. And, you know, just being away from it made me realize how much I miss it and all the things that I love about it. I mean, uh, another proud day of my life was when me and a bunch of guys saved a woman who drowned and we did CPR. And fortunately, to this day, she is still alive. So I'm very thankful for that. But um, one other thing I just want you guys to always know that I will always be thankful for as well is let me just pull it right here out of the box is this little award. Um, this was something I always thought that would never be possible and with your guys help and support you guys made this happen and also with Jesse's help it this happened and I am always going to be thankful for that and this little plaque will always mean the world to me as well. So I want to tell you guys a quick little story. A few weeks ago, I took my friend George out to a buffet for his birthday because I was like, dude, I feel bad. I didn't get you anything for your birthday. You're like one of my best friends. What do you want to do? Do you want to go eat? Do you want to go do this, this or that? And he's like, yeah, let's just go to the buffet and you could buy. I was like, all right, fair enough. You know, I owe you for your birthday. And uh, I got a fortune cookie and it said this. 
you cannot love life until you live the life you love. And, um, you know, if my G7X would focus right here, that is honestly a very true statement. And that, for me, always came back and was like, you cannot love the life you live until you live the life you love. My camera would want to focus. Sorry about the random cut there. My camera just shut off on me for some reason. I don't know why. But I do want to say one last thing before I close off this video. And that is, once again, I am grateful and thankful for the opportunity that was given to me by Jesse to be his cameraman. Going in as a fan to being able to be his cameraman and become a friend of his. Um, it was a dream come true, you know. And... At the end of the day, I'm always going to remember everything that we've always did and accomplished. And we did a lot of crazy things. And, you know, for me, it's now time for a new chapter in my life. And uh, just know, guys, I'm only 22. A lot of crazy things in my life can still happen. And um, at the end of the day, I just want you guys to know I love each and every single one of you. Jesse, man, I love you, dude. Thank you for everything that you've ever done for me. And until next time, Saxon family, it's been your boy Jeff. Keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Well, peace.